How's everyone doing? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're going to be meal prepping. It's going to be cheap, affordable, easy to make, and most importantly, healthy so you can hit your fitness goals. So in this video, you're going to see three meal ideas and two shake slash smoothies. Shake slash smoothies, that's a real tongue twister. But yeah, I've made these recipes so they can be changed around a little bit to hit your fitness requirements, and all of them are super macro friendly. So without further said, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and turn notifications on for when I post next. Smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm and let's get into the video. So for breakfast, you need something that's quick and easy to consume. So obviously we're going to go with a drink. Today we're going to be making two shakes. One of them I'm going to nickname the LA shake, a bit like the dual phaser shake, which is what I personally I'm going to be having when I go back to school. And then the second one's going to be a lower calorie kind of snack shake. A one that you can have at break time or something if you're from the UK you know what break time is. So let's make the LA shake. Now I'll put all the ingredients here. This is one that I'm going to be having when I go back to school. So you're going to need oats, any milk of your choice or you can use water if you want a lower calorie one. Uh, a chocolate whey protein powder, a bit of cacao powder, then some peanut butter. You can use powdered one if you want if it's a lower calorie you're looking for again. And yeah, that's basically it. It's really simple and plain. However, I think it's going to taste really nice because you can use any protein powder of your choice. And I'm going to use the chocolate brownie one, which is, I think is going to be the perfect combination mixed with the peanut butter and oats. It's going to give it that kind of grainy texture and then that like flavour, which I think is going to be really nice. So let's see how it turns out. So I'm using 70 grams of oats, however you can change up the portion sizes of the ingredients to, towards your goals. So in my, if you saw on the MyFitnessPal there recipe, I'm using 70 grams of oats, um, almond milk and peanut butter. And just so it's a bit quicker, I'm just going to use a chocolate brownie sample packet so the portion size is already outside and just pull the full packet in rather than uh, getting a scoop and then probably making a mess everywhere. So that worked out as 25 grams as labelled on the packet, obviously. And then literally just a teaspoon of cacao powder, giving it a bit more chocolatey flavour. And then I'm using this off Amazon. I got this for, I think it was £6 per 500 grams of powdered peanut butter, which is actually a really good deal. And then you're just going to want 12 grams, which is about 50 calories worth of powdered peanut butter. Now thinking about this recipe, it's going to turn out kind of like a Snickers protein shake. So I'm actually interested to see how this turns out and I bet it's going to taste really nice. But now we're going to use almond milk. You're going to use roughly about 300 milliliter. As I think the perfect liquid to oat ratio is, I think it's 30, for every 30 grams of oats, you use 180 milliliters of liquid. But yeah, 13 calories per 100 milliliter and it's 1.1 grams of fat. And also a bunch of healthy vitamins from the almonds. 300 milliliters of almond milk. You can also add any other liquid you want as it is going to be a really thick shake, but it's going to be really filling as well. Okay, so put the lid on and blend. Personally, I hate loud sounds. I don't know, it's just a thing that I have, so I'll cover my ears when I do it. Don't judge. Okay, so I blended it for about 10 seconds there and it's already gone uh, kind of really thick already and it's expanded a bit because the almond milk does have a gum in the ingredients so it does expand which is really good. Okay, now the main thing, does it taste nice? Wow. <laughs> that is actually really nice, it tastes like a Snickers bar. So yeah, the LA shake, it isn't a gainer shake or it isn't a weight loss shake, it's just an all around good, healthy, macro friendly shake. And tastes like a Snickers bar, it's actually really nice. Give this a try, if you do try this recipe out, tag me on Instagram. But yeah, that's the LA shake. Perfect for on the go and incredibly macro friendly. And tastes absolutely amazing. Okay, I know I'm making a recipe video, but this is actually really nice, so I'm just going to keep on drinking it throughout the video. Again, LA shake, basically Snickers bar shake. It's amazing. Okay, so now for shake or smoothie number two, which is going to be the lower calorie one. It's going to be a fruit based one. However, it's still going to have some protein in and taste just as nice as that Snickers shake or the LA shake. I'm calling it the LA shake. That's actually amazing, especially with the oats. Okay, so for this low calorie snack shake, you're going to want 60 grams of fruit. I'm just going with berries. Okay, so you've got 60 grams of berries in there and then you want to add 50 grams of a zero calorie yogurt or Greek yogurt. This is going to be the main source of protein in this shake. 
than 200 milliliters of any milk or liquid of your choice. Okay, lid on and blend. And there you go, I'll put the calories for this shake on the screen there. Incredibly low calorie, high protein-ish, but would be great for a snack on the go, especially when you're at school as well, and has fruit in so you can get your vitamins. Also, I just thought of it because it's quite high in carbs as well. Perfect pre-workout shake. Okay, now let's get on to the actual meals and what you can have for lunch. Okay, now for lunch, you're probably expecting just a basic meal prep kind of style meal. However, we're going to make it interesting as it's easier to stay on track that way and you can eat nicer foods. And now I'm going to set myself a timer and we're going to make four lunch meals in under an hour. It's currently quarter past two. Let's make it before quarter past three. Oh yeah, and the meals that I'm going to make are on the screen here. Yeah, they look really nice. So let's okay, now this is probably going to take the longest. However, now we're going to make boiled potatoes and cod. But we're going to season them and dress them properly so they actually taste nice and it's not just a bland meal. Go get however many new potatoes. These are a lot lower calorie. Oh, and I dropped one. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, new potatoes are a lot lower calorie than a, say, a jacket potato, the large ones. And when boiled, are the most satiating food. So use however many you want, dedicated to how many carbs you want in the meal, and cut them up. So once cut up, get a pan, fill it with water and put it on a boil. Okay, so I've got 250 grams of boiled potatoes here and simply add them to a pan until they're cooked. Then while they're boiling, get a piece of white fish or cod and put it in the oven. Okay, so while that's cooking in the background, we have got the second meal here. We want egg fried rice. This is going to probably be the quickest as it's two minutes for the rice and once I've fried the egg, I'm going to guess around seven minutes for the full meal to make which is super quick and super easy. So squeeze the bag and two minutes in the microwave. Now we've got to add some flavor, so you want to get a spring onion and, so, oh, I almost dropped the egg, and some black pepper. Okay, so once the pan's hot, you want to crack the egg. Okay, right, get another egg. Oh no. Okay, we've got another egg. So crack it into the pan. I honestly don't know how well you can see here, but you just want to break the egg, kind of make it in a scrambled kind of egg. So then cut your spring onion into fine pieces and try not to cry while doing it. Chuck the spring onions into the pan. Add a couple bits of black pepper for a bit of flavor. Then your rice in the microwave should be about done by now. You want to open it and then just simply tip it into the pan. I'm only going to put in half the packet as I've only put in one egg. And yeah, mix it all together. Right, not gonna lie, that only took five minutes. So put it in a pan without making a mess everywhere. And as you can see that, I didn't use any oil on the pan. So that just proves what having a good pan can actually do. Invest in your cooking, invest in yourself. And get a good quality pan. But yeah, I put the ingredients and macros there. This literally only took five minutes and you have got a egg fried rice. Super simple and quick. Okay, now the potatoes are about halfway cooked. So you're gonna wanna add around 50 grams of kale or any type of vegetable of your choice. And basically all this is gonna do is make it more voluminous without adding way too many extra calories. Okay, so the potatoes are about done. They took around 25 minutes, I'd say. And now you just wanna take them out of the pan and dry them off. Now I know that looks like the most plain, boring meal ever. However, now it's time to spice it up a little. Okay, I'm going handheld, but now you want to add a couple squirts of zero calorie olive oil spray. Then some black pepper. And then top off with some fresh parsley. And don't think I forgot about the fish because we need our protein. Okay, so the fish took about 25 minutes as well in the oven. And only took 25 minutes and I've got to say it does look very healthy. However, it's clean and very macro friendly and high in protein. But yeah, let me just say no food is being wasted in this whole video. I'm going to have this for lunch and also the egg fried rice because I've just finished a big workout session. But yeah, that is meal two. And now let's get on to the next one. Okay, now I apologize. I'm not going to have time to make the stir fry or the space. However, this is something that I just want to show you. This is, is some rice noodles or vermicelli. I don't know how to pronounce it. However, I picked these up from Sainsbury's. They're made from 100% brown rice. And per nest is only 160 calories. So perfect for portion sizes. You can have two if you want or three. 
and is a change from just boring rice maybe if you want kind of a noodle texture which is basically what they are they are rice noodles however they are 100 percent and also when cooked are super voluminous so i definitely recommend these go pick it up from sainsbury's they're only like a pound as well so yeah i really recommend these and if you want to change from just rice you can have these noodles as well which are made from 100 percent rice so it makes sense too if you're getting a bit bored and apologies, I'm not going to be able to make the stir fry, however, this is what I would have made it with. And yeah, go check these out, I definitely recommend them. Okay, now for the last meal, we're going to be making some pasta and turkey with cheese, which does sound pretty basic. However, growing up, I don't know if maybe I just had a bland childhood. However, this was one of my favourite meals growing up, and I'm so glad you can implement it in your diet as it is really healthy, high in protein, and really good for you. Also really easy to change the portion sizes with the ingredients, if you need more protein you can add more turkey or you can use chicken as well. However I use turkey as it's kind of a change from chicken if chicken gets boring after a while. And depending on how many carbs you need, just the pasta as well. And if you need say more fats you can use a more higher fat cheese. Or if you want lower fat you can use protein cheese which is what I use. But yeah, call it bland but I think this is a perfect meal. Now before I start the last meal, I need to do some tidying you know? up, however I do want to mention this. With the pasta, I just want to recommend another ingredient here or food, which yes, you can also pick up from Sainsbury's. However, if you do, another food which I really recommend, especially if you're looking to get more protein in. And it's basically protein pasta, however it isn't made with wheat, it's actually made with lentils or chickpeas, depending on which one you get. So I've got it here, this is chickpea one. Anyways, per 100 grams, just look at that. 100 grams for pasta as well so it's basically protein and carbs all in one so it's super quick and easy i definitely recommend picking up some of these it depends on what your goals are and also a little note because it's not made from wheat it also has a lower glycemic index making it so it doesn't spike your blood sugar keeping you fuller for longer and if you get the one made with lentils it's also higher in vitamins and minerals like iron so yeah i definitely recommend them go and check them out if you need a little more protein in diet Okay, now for this last and final meal, I said you'll need any pasta your choice. Again, you can use the one that I recommended or just normal pasta, which is what I'm going to use for this recipe. Turkey breast or chicken breast, whichever you prefer. And any type of cheese, which you like. So yeah, let's get into making it. Add your preferred serving size of pasta into a boiling pot. For reference, I've added about 75 grams. And I mentioned I started making all this at quarter past two, and it's only quarter to three now. So half an hour and we're two meals down. I know I missed out the stir fry. However, this is gonna be done in about 20 minutes, so we're on time. So it is quick, easy, simple, which is definitely what we're looking for. Oh no, I've just realized while filming, I got rid of the smoothies or shakes and I was meant to save them for the thumbnail. My mom's just got back in. Hopefully she doesn't realize how much of a mess I've made, but yeah. <laughs> now weirdly, the pasta is taking longer than the potatoes, but as that's cooking, I'm gonna, now going to cook the chicken or turkey breast. I can't even tell which one this is, it's just in a packet. I know that's some type of lean meat. But yeah, hopefully it's turkey. Anyways, but yeah, you can put yours on a grill. It'll be a lot quicker or a pan or you can put it in the oven. And it, the oven will take longer. So I'm just going to put it on the grill so it's quicker. Okay, then I'll cut mine into thin strips and just put it on the grill. Also, life hack, use scissors when cutting meat, it's actually a lot easier than using a knife and fork. Especially when it's raw, it's a lot easier. Okay, so put the lid down on the grill and that should be about 15 minutes. Okay, so the pasta is now about cooked, so you would just want to take it out of the pan and dry it off. Okay, so the chicken or turkey is going to be about 5 minutes, so this is the cheese that I use. It's the Arla protein cheese, it's actually, it's low sodium and low in fat, so it's actually a great alternative to use to regular cheese. Now, I really should start labeling the meats, this is actually chicken, but it's fine, it's basically the same thing. So, chicken is now cooked, so let's add it to the dish. So yeah, here's the three meals, they're easy, quick to make, high protein, macro friendly, healthy. I don't know how many more things I can say about them. There's one thing I will say though, colour. And that is a really important thing. I know in some countries, this is like a random fun fact, but instead of five day, you have, it's eat a colour of the rainbow. So like you eat different coloured vegetables and everything instead of five vegetables a day. 
if that makes sense. I've heard that somewhere. But yeah, super simple, quick to make. This this whole thing only took an hour, and that's including the shakes at the start, the two shakes. So yeah, I'm hoping this video turned out really well. If you do try the LA shake or the LA Snickers shake, and do tag me on Instagram, it's up there. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Comment down below what you thought of these recipes. Maybe if you want to add another recipe which you use. And yeah, if you're new, subscribe, turn notifications on for when I post next. So yeah, give it a like, comment down below for the algorithm. And I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Roll the outro.